In this class, we are going to learn pagination concept in Visual Builder application. Suppose if you are having a requirement in your Visual Builder wherein you have to make a call to any web service or database from where you are getting the humongous data like millions and millions of records and your Visual Builder is unable to load those data and it is also not a good practice to fetch all the records and display in a user interface because it will eat up your memory and make the browser to crash. So we will look how we can overcome this problem in Visual Builder. First of all, I am considering that I am fetching humongous data from our database. For this case, as we discussed in our previous class, we are considering this database. For demonstration purpose, I am having only 30 records, but in actual case, you will have millions of records. So what we are going to do is, we are going to make use of our previously discussed integration. That is this integration, which is having those limit and offset in the query parameter. So this is one of the main thing as per the Oracle design standards, whenever you create an integration to fetch any database and which is going to be used for pagination purpose in Visual Builder, you have to create those query parameters, limit and offset followed by any other filter criteria. This will differ as per your use case. In our case, we, are, we can give the filter criteria as department code along with this limit and offset. And in response, there should be two fields in your JSON response. One is a has more which will indicate whether there are records available which we need to query in next batch and total count will tell how many total records are there in that particular database or service this VBCS has to fetch in iterations for pagination purpose. We have discussed in detail in our previous class like how it works in has more, what is total count, what is count. Please watch our previous class. If you have not watched, you can pause this video over here. You watch that integration class in which we have explained in detail what is limit, what is offset. We had tested with a lot of examples with the help of this database table and explained how this pagination should work with the help of integration. So in this class, we will only focus on building pagination in VBCS by leveraging this same integration. Now I will create one web application for demonstrating the use case. I will write as pagination. Let me name this as SDP sample. Click on create. Once the page loads, we will rename this main over here to something else that is pagination learning. Just about. So, we are going to explain the concept of pagination with the help of table. When the user scrolls the table, we are make, going to make the fresh call to integration to fetch the details in the batch with the help of this limit and offset clauses. Now, I will drag and drop this table component. Just drag and drop it over here. Now, we are going to add the data with the help of service connection. With the help of service connection, we are going to make a call to integration. That is the same integration which I have shown over here or which we have gone through in our previous class. Go to services, click on plus service connection, go to catalog, make sure you have the backend for Oracle integration. Our integration is in default package, let me expand this. This is our integration, get employee data pagination. I am clicking on create. We have to go to endpoint, expand this, we are having only one operation that is get. Go to test, here let us test for one of the case, offset is 0, limit is 5, click on send request here we are getting there are total 30 records yes we have 30 records in our database table that is 30 it has fetched the first five records there are records which we need to fetch in our next iteration that it indicates has more suppose we change this offset to 25 now the offset will start from 25 that is we will get the records from 25 to 30 like this in that case we should not get that has more let me click on test in this case, we are not getting has more. So, it has retrieved all 30 records. Let me save this sample response. Sample has been saved. Let's go back to our main start. Let me minimize this window on the left side. Select the table. Go to quick start. Click on add data. Select the service connection ICS. Click on next. Now, we need to display over here the details. One is the employee ID. Next, I want the first name, last name. I want when is the higher date, salary and bonus, I don't want to display, manager ID, yes, I want, next is the department code, that's it, primary key, I will select employee ID, click on next and finish. Now we have configured the service connection, as we had seen, 
the limit and offset are mandatory for our integration without this it won't invoke so if you want to test we can just preview this also i will open the console our web page is loading as you can see it has made a call to our integration but it didn't retrieve the details why because we need to pass the limit and the offset which we are going to implement now those error messages you can handle accordingly if you want to this will vary from project to project and business requirement now let me go back to this application in order to resolve this what we have to do is we need to go back to our ics over here that is the service connection go to overview if you scroll down there is something called as transform we need to create our transformation for pagination click on create from here we need to select paginate as we are going to create pagination function let me name this something as custom get employee record dot js click on ok this is going to create a javascript for us so in order to see what js it has created we need to click on this go to file if you scroll down there should be a paginate function so that is over here and in detail you will find that is over here so we have to make sure that we create parameters in our integration that is total count and has more suppose if you have created an integration or there is any service in which case the response which denotes has more records and the total count is different than the name mentioned over here then we have to change over here if it is total count is mentioned as total underscore count in your response then you have to change accordingly over here the names in our case we have designed as per the oracle's guidelines so in our case it is matching like has more and total count names but if you are consuming any third party integrations or services then it might differ so that you have to change over here when you create the js now let's go back to our main start now we have resolved this thing wherein we pass this limit and the offset for this demonstration we are making use of this database which is having limited number of records 30s but i will show you how it works in actual even with this limited number of records first we need to click on this table go to data first i will reduce the height of this table to something like height is 300 pixels okay next we have to search for something called as scroll there is this scroll policy just toggle this it is asking how many records it has to fetch i am saying five it has to fetch this is nothing but limit so whatever we created in this js paginate function it will map over there so max number of records here it's saying 500 we have to always make sure we don't invoke any service and populate this table with humongous data we have to restrict it in most of the cases so here i am saying total count it has to fetch only 1000 even if your database is having hundreds of millions of records just restrict it to 1000 because your browser ram is very scarce resource and you shouldn't overburden the computer memory now once done let me refresh this page also i will open the console side by side let me clear this network our web page is loading as you see over here it will make a call to our integration yeah it has done so it has made two invocations as of now and it has fetched the records from 100 and 100 to 104 employees as we had set this table height to 300 pixel it will populate so many records so that it will fill that height now as soon as the user scrolls this you will find the next call will be made as you can see the next call is made over here which has fetched from 110 to 115 now i will scroll further this table it will make a new call as you see it is making a call with offset as 15 let me scroll further a new record is created with offset 20 let me scroll further and go to end that is to 30 so we are having 25 offset so it will fetch all 30 employees our last employees employee id is 129 so like this we can achieve pagination in visual builder with the help of this paginate js and if we design our integration as per the design standards recommended by oracle with this pagination approach you can display humongous data on your browser with the help of visual builder Here is the big announcement for our subscribers and viewers. We are launching membership program for Binum Learning. You may now join Binum Learning as a member and get exclusive perks or the rewards. In order to know more or join and be a member, 
you need to go to our channel after landing into our channel page you need to click on this join when you click on join you will get various membership plans accordingly you can select and unlock the perks or the rewards which are available for that particular membership for more details you can anytime come over to our page and click on this join button similar steps you can follow over the phone as well you can go to our channel there you will find the join button you need to click and check the memberships and select one among the many and become a member of Binam learning channel it includes various perks like exclusive videos only for members early access of videos to members and lot of other perks available if you are happy with our content and want to thank us or support us you can straight away come to this link and you can buy us a coffee like one three five so these numbers are equivalent to us dollars if you want to buy more coffees you can just enter the number over here and click on buy we would like to thank all our subscribers viewers and members for showing your support and constantly helping us by giving your valuable feedback so that we bring good content to you regularly thank you once again and happy learning